have spoken of the dinar. The dinar. The dinar. Today I want to, to just share a few, a few minutes on the dinar. The dinar really. Except it's Iraqi. This is the uh, dinar for those who want to know. What if we were looking in the wrong place this entire time? What if we were looking for things to get better, but the dinar revalues whenever things seem to be at their worst? What you're seeing in Israel could happen here one day. When's it gonna happen? When's the revaluation gonna take place? Please welcome Codebreakers. By the end of this video, you're going to know that the Iraqi dinar is going to revalue this year, 2024, with 100% certainty. I'm going to be playing multiple dreams, and visions, and prophecies in this video. And to start this timeline, I want to start with two dreams that most everyone already knows, but most people have missed some very critical information. The first dream to focus on is the Rebirth of America dream. And the second dream is the $50 bill dream. Now, both of these dreams were given by the Lord to Chris Reed. And both of these dreams begin and end in the same exact way. America goes through a time of chaos and trouble. And then at the end of the dream, in one of them, there is a rebirth of America. And the other dream, there is a renewed nation talking about America. And here's one of the things that most people have missed. I believe that both of these dreams are the exact same dream. And this is just like the Bible. In Genesis, Pharaoh was given two dreams for his nation, Egypt. And Pharaoh had two different dreams, but he did not know the interpretation of the dream. But whenever Joseph came, he gave the interpretation. He said, those two dreams that you had were not separate. They were actually the same dream. Now, this is really big news because in the Rebirth of America dream, Chris Reed specifically says that the Rebirth of America happens in July 2025. So that puts the end of the $50 bill dream in 2025 in July with the renewed America. So that means that everything before that, the first tear and the second tear of the $50 bill, has to take place before July 2025. Now I'm going to show you why that's such big news, but first I'm going to show a short clip of the Rebirth of America dream, and then we're going to jump into a short clip of the $50 bill dream, and we'll come right back. I share this uh, dream to you today in the fear of the Lord. I've just given it a title to recognize it, the rebirth of America dream. Okay, let's skip to the end. It seemed like most of the chaos ended in the nation and things were starting to heal by July, 2025. It had all started in the April, May, 2024 time with the eclipse beginning, coinciding with a conception. So the birth, as I said, was in January 2025 and was placed in an incubator even after it was born for several months. The baby lived, and it was a beautiful baby. And the dream ended by me seeing this baby wrapped in an American flag. And it was like in the maternity uh, ward. And you know how like they have babies laying in little beds with their name tags at the top. The name of the baby was America. And so I couldn't help but believe it was the rebirth of America. Now for the $50 bill dream. He stands in front of me and he takes the $50 bill and the first tear, he tears off one third of the $50 bill. Okay, let's jump to the end of this one as well. Another person comes up, hands me another uh, headline and the newspaper headlines read, quote, new currency for a renewed nation. So now that we know that both of these dreams are the same dream, and both of these dreams end in July 2025, now we can see that the first tear and the second tear of the $50 bill has to happen before July 2025. So when will the Iraqi dinar revalue? Well, to answer that question, we have to answer another question, and that is, what has to happen before January 20th, 2025, according to Chris Reed's $50 bill dream and Kim Clement's prophecy? Halfway through the $50 bill dream by Chris Reed, at the second tear, Israel and Palestine reach a two-state agreement. Then in the dream, the attention was brought back on the man dressed in the black suit who held the $50 bill. 
This time he tore the $50 bill in half. And when he did this, an earthquake happened under my feet. Another person walked up to me and handed me a headline which read, quote, Israeli and Palestinian two-state solution reached. And here's how we know that the Israel-Palestine two-state solution will be reached before January 20th, 2025. And that date, as you probably already guessed, is the inauguration date of President Donald Trump. Just listen to what Kim Clement has to say here in this prophecy. Now, we all know that whenever Kim says God's David is about to arise and rule and reign in the White House and for America, we all know that that is President Donald Trump. Now listen to Kim explain in this prophecy how the United States will turn their back on Israel and Israel will be divided with a peace deal. And whenever Donald Trump, his David, gets back into office, that he's going to retrieve and undo that dividing peace deal with Israel. Israel has been rejected, but not by the Lord God of Israel. What you must be careful of, says the Lord, is not the war, but the peace. For Israel in the Middle East has always had war, much war. Therefore, tremble when peace treaties begin. I will not allow my people to fall, but I will bring light, light, light into Iraq, I will bring light into Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, yes, Syria, and Iran. A massive revival that will affect China and will affect Russia as well. How can this president have done what is right? You call it right? God says he is a pawn. He is standing to teach my people a lesson. For when I raise up the sound of love and light and victory for my nation again, they shall look back and say, what in the hell did we do? What did we do to Israel? But I shall retrieve it and place a David who shall be a burning bush in the White House to bring fire and revival to this nation and to South America and to Central America and to Canada and to many nations and throughout Europe. So now knowing that Donald Trump is the one to undo the bad divisive deal with Israel and Palestine, that means that that deal, the Israel-Palestine two-state solution deal, has to be done before January 20th, 2025, whenever Donald Trump is president. Donald Trump is not going to be the one to divide Israel and then look back and say, what did we do to Israel and undo that deal? So it has to happen before Donald Trump is president. And now to answer the question of when is the Iraqi dinar going to revalue? Now, I'm going to show you how the dinar will revalue at the first tear of the $50 bill. And because the Iraqi dinar revalues between the first and second tear of the $50 bill dream, we don't need to be concerned about what happens between the second and third tear, at least for this video. And to see whenever the Iraqi dinar is going to revalue, let's just focus on what happens between the second tear and the first tear. And at the timing of making this video, it is July 2024, and the first tear has not happened yet. So being that the dinar has to revalue somewhere between the first and second tear, then that means that the Iraqi dinar has to revalue somewhere between July 2024 and before January 20th, 2025. So here's how the Iraqi dinar is going to revalue at the first tear of the $50 bill dream, or at least very shortly after the first tear. Now in this next clip, you're going to see that at the very beginning of the $50 bill dream at the first tear, the Middle East oil makes a deal with China instead of the U.S. And to understand how crucial this is to the Iraqi dinar revaluing, you have to understand our current financial system. And I promise you, after understanding this, this is about to get really good really fast. A quick recap of our current financial system is what's called the petrodollar, and the petrodollar is a deal in the 70s, the United States and the Middle East oil, which is OPEC, made a deal to only sell oil in US dollars. And so that's the current deal that OPEC has with the United States. Now at the first tear, the dream says that the Middle East oil 
will make a deal with China instead of the U.S. And we know that Kim Clement said whenever that financial system is broken, that's whenever the dinar will revalue. Now let's watch the beginning of the $50 bill dream and we'll come right back. The first one said after he tore the $50 bill, one third off, the headline read this, the dollar drops 30% in value. And a subtitle to the headline was Mideast Oil Strikes Deal with China Instead of the U.S. Hello, I said Roth here with Shane Warren, and Shane had a vision of the future of America. I was caught up and I was sitting in a room uh, with world leaders. What was going on with this meeting? In this meeting, these world leaders were talking about how to devalue the currency of America by buying oil on another currency, with another currency. And somehow or another that would drive down the value of the American dollar. Now let's go to the prophecy of Kim Clement where Kim explains that whenever our current financial system, that is the petrodollar oil system that we have with the Middle East oil, whenever that is broken, that that is the timing of the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. There shall be a break in the financial system in the Middle East, the dinar. Now, most people already know that part, but here's something else that many people, I believe, have missed. Kim Clement said that the Iraqi dinar will revalue whenever things seem to be at their worst, and I believe that that exact timing is whenever people are afraid of an all-out nuclear war. So I'm going to show you now two different prophecies, one from Chris Reed and then one from John Paul Jackson, supporting why I say this. Now, pay close attention to how Chris Reed says that whenever Israel strikes Iran, it's going to be against their nuclear facility. And then John Paul Jackson Jackson says the day that Israel strikes Iran, then you're going to have OPEC, which is the Middle East oil producing countries, turn their backs on the United States because we support Israel. And right after these two prophecies, we're going to look at our history and see how history is going to repeat itself very soon. I saw a sudden airstrike from Israel against Iran, and the target will be a nuclear developing facility in Iran. And I believe what I saw in vision, it was the Boucher nuclear plant in Iran that was suddenly hit by Israel's military. Tensions in Israel and Iran are going to escalate. The day is going to come when, Iran, when Israel will hit Iran. When that, when that takes place and those <clears throat> missiles hit Iran, you there's going to be a huge growth of anti-Semitism. And everybody's going to blame Israel on the price of gasoline. You're going to see incredible backlash that happens. And you're going to see a OPEC countries forming an alliance that says, we'll not sell to anybody who supports Israel. So America, if you want gasoline, you better, you better stop your support of Israel. 50 years ago this month, in response to America's support for Israel during the 1973 Arab-Israeli War, Arab members of OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, cut off oil shipments to the United States and several other countries. The oil producing countries of the Arab world decided to use their oil as a political weapon until the Israelis withdraw from occupied territories. The decision to cut back on oil production as a weapon against Israel was taken at a meeting in Kuwait. There was an announcement in Kuwait that prices for Arab oil were going up. A huge increase voted in an overnight meeting without even consulting Western buyers. Then the ministers began what was to be an eight-hour meeting, resulting in their decision to reduce the flow of oil to America and other nations supporting Israel until Israeli forces leave occupied Arab land. This was a war. It began two days earlier in the Middle East. Egypt and Syria are at war with Israel today. Egyptian tanks and helicopters crossed the Suez Canal while Syrian forces moved on the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. With renewed determination and American arms, Israel successfully counterattacked. Ultimately, Arab forces were driven back. The shooting stopped. A delicate equilibrium was restored. But the Arabs made an economic power play. As punishment for this country's support of Israel, 11 Arab countries cut off all oil shipments to the United States. In 1973, Egypt and Syria attacked Israel. Out of this ensuing conflict, OPEC seized the opportunity to cut the supply of oil worldwide. 
And not only is Iraq in OPEC, but OPEC was actually founded in Baghdad, Iraq. Now, whenever Israel strikes Iran's nuclear facility, we're going to hear this on the news that now all these countries have a right to use nuclear warfare. And everyone listening to the news will be afraid of an all-out worldwide nuclear war. And that moment is the time whenever things will seem to be at their worst. Now, here is a video of Kim Clement where he was caught up and had a vision of him praying for the protection of Israel and America and a potential nuclear war and then listen closely for what he says comes after. And when I was having the visions, it's almost like I was taken, my spirit was taken to various locations to see various things. But I became aware of extreme heat and danger. My body overwhelmed, was overwhelmed by a, 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 like radiance and fire. And fear struck me for, for the first time. Fear struck me for the first time. Was this nuclear? Was this atomic? Was this, what was this that I was feeling? Was I interceding on behalf of Israel and America? I believe I was, first of all. But at that point, there were multiple visions. And the question seemed to arise constantly. Armageddon, the slaughter of humanity, an atomic war no one wanted, but which no one had the wisdom to avoid. Now, I need to say that to you again. And I want you to listen to it. Because this is what I heard. Armageddon. The slaughter of humanity, an atomic war no one wanted, but which no one had the wisdom to avoid. I then saw flashing in front of me. Fire point E. Now, you just heard Kim Clement talk about Firepoint, which we all know happens after the Iraqi dinar revalues, and he mentioned Firepoint coming after this nuclear threat of war. So this also confirms that the timing of the Iraqi dinar revaluation is going to be this year, 2024. But Kim Clement did not stop with Firepoint. Listen to what he says comes after Firepoint. It's one of the things I noticed in, the, in these visions, that there was so much relief and so much joy and victory and happiness and laughter because of we're free. But I saw fire point again. It was, it was going across it and, and I caught a glimpse of it, but it said fire, but it was broken up into three sections. Fire point E. And so if you can write that down, fire point without the E and then it's E separately. Remember I spoke about the big breakthrough with a big E. Yes. Never did I realize when I wrote fire point, when it first came to me, that it would also mean it was fire point as well, but fire will point to E. Wow. It's in your hands. So we just heard Kim Clement mentioning fire point and then the big E, both being revealed after this fear of a nuclear war. And I'm sure that you've all heard about the Kim Clement eight wells of investments. Kim Clement said that these investments will be revealed, all eight of them, one at a time. And on this channel, I cannot tell you legally what to invest in and when to invest into it, but I can tell you what I believe that the prophecy says, and then you can make your own judgment. According to Kim Clement, the Iraqi dinar is only the first of eight wells of investments. And on this channel, I'm going to be releasing exactly what I did to cash in my dinar and then to invest that same day into the second well of investments. I want God's people to be billionaires. And the way that it happens is by saying, there is the source there. That's where it's coming from. People are taking note. Fire point. What's fire point? People are watching all over because when it does come, they're going to invest and they're going to make millions of dollars. God is speaking now over the region of Iraq. 